Good evening, I'm Navya Singh and I'll take you through the news that deserve your attention today. Let's begin. Opposing same-sex marriage, the central government told the Delhi High Court that marriage in India is not just a union of two individuals, but an institution between a biological man and a biological woman. The government also said that the judicial interference will cause complete havoc with the delicate balance of personal laws. Referring to a Supreme Court judgment, the central government said that it only decriminalized a particular behavior and did not legitimize it. The government said that living together as partners or in a relationship with the same-sex individual is not in sync with the Indian family unit concept of a husband, wife and children. Dalit labour activist Nodeep Kaur, who was arrested on 12th of January from a labourer's protest at Kundli border point, was granted bail today by the Punjab and Haryana High Court in an attempt to murder case. Nodeep has been lodged in Karnal Jail in Haryana. She had accused the police of sexual assault under custody, but the allegation was denied by the authorities. Nodeep was arrested over a labour protest demanding higher wages, which coincided with the ongoing farmers' protest. In another major news, domestic flight operators are now allowed to give concessions in ticket prices to passengers who carry no baggage or only cabin baggage. As per the present rules, a passenger can carry up to 7 kgs of cabin baggage and 15 kgs of check-in baggage and any additional weight is chargeable. However, this will change as the new rule will allow the operators to provide tickets of lesser prices to those who opt to travel with no baggage or only with cabin baggage within the permissible weight limit. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today inaugurated the second Khelo India Winter Games in Gulmarg and said that the event is a step towards making Jammu and Kashmir a hub of winter sports. Athletes from as many as 27 states and union territories are competing in the games which will conclude on 2nd of March. During the inauguration, PM Modi said that this is a step towards making India's presence felt in the international Winter Games arena. PM Modi also said that these games will strengthen the idea of Ek Bharat, Shresht Bharat. A recent report by the International Labour Organization has found that Indians are among the most overworked workers across the world while earning the lowest wages in the Asia-Pacific region except Bangladesh. According to the report, India ranks fifth in the world among countries with long working hours, often stretching up to 48 hours a week. The report also reveals that Indians spend less than one-tenth of time in a day for leisure and especially women get far less time than men. That's all for today and I'll be back with some more important news tomorrow. Thanks for watching.